Okay, so several people have asked what it's like when I get up and uh, have to go out and plow during a snowstorm. Well, we're right in the middle of a big snowstorm. We've already gotten a couple feet um, since yesterday. It is now 2.16 in the morning. I've already cleared my truck, the path to my truck, and now getting ready to leave and go to the shop. As you can see, it's snowing pretty hard and we're about to leave the driveway and head to the shop. So, crank up some tunes. And we get going. of a road. Just trying to make your way, keep an eye on the snow poles. You can see some of the snow is flying over my truck so deep. Not going to see too many people out at this hour, which makes it a little fun. definitely going to be another snow day for the kids today. You can hardly tell where ski slope is. You gotta keep the momentum up here. Getting close to getting stuck on some of these wind drifts. Woo! Light out. Well, they've kind of plowed ski, uh, snow peak here, so that's good. A little easier to drive right now. Okay, we are now at the shop. 225. So what'd that take? Nine minutes? You can see through all of the snow, you can see the tractors running over there. Maintenance guys have already been here, cleared the driveway, the shop driveway and now uh, and started all of our tractors so they're warming up um, so we can get out there and start clearing snow um, i'm gonna jump out of my truck here and head in okay now out of the truck here it's really windy this is the shop all the lights over there the tractors running bunch more back there that bright light is tractors getting into the shop door now okay so this is the inside of the shop where the maintenance guys the mechanics do all the work keep our tractors running fixing everything they do a lot out in the field during the shift uh, when we break down out there on our routes just came through here going to get in my tractor, grabbed a few shear pins. Here are all the tractors out here running, covered in snow. I'm gonna turn off the video so I can go. Find mine and clear it off. Okay, as you can tell, I've cleaned off my tractor. There's all the other ones. This is my ride for probably on a day like today, next 14 hours. Hopefully shorter, but probably 14 to 15 hours. There's a bunch more holders. This is a McLean. It's a sweet ride. Alright, I'm gonna jump inside and uh, hit the road here. Okay, now we're inside the 
just got all situated. This is what I'm driving, like I said, for the next 14, 15 hours. Got all my snacks for the day, some protein bars and other fruit bars and bear claws and whatever. Um, also got essentials like Advil. Definitely need that. Um, got some Gatorades, coffee. Got my backpack here. Thermos full of coffee in there. Uh, got the windows all wiped down. They get a lot of moisture in these and uh, so we're trying to defrost everything. But we're about ready to go. Another big thing. Beats. Gotta have those, gotta have your tunes the whole time. Alright, we're about to get rolling here. Check back in a little while. Okay, so I've been on my route for just over an hour now. It was a pretty slow drive over here. Uh, visibility is horrible and the inside of these machines uh, don't defrost all that well especially when it's snowing as hard as it is. So, took a, took a long, slow drive over here. Um, done several driveways already, but uh, still plowing. And you can see we've got about 18, probably can't tell, but we've got about 18 inches of new snow. Uh, visibility of four. Windshield is falling up. You can kind of see it through this video, I think. Um, gotta keep, always bring towels so I can wipe down the windows and keep it going. You can hear my fans and everything uh, going in here. Uh, but, yeah, this is, uh, this is what it's like to plow when it is a full on blizzard out here. Hey guys, I know this is probably not a real surprise, but there is no school today. No school today. Well, you probably just heard that. Another snow day for the kids. I'm sure they are not disappointed. Uh, please, please confirm that you had snow day today. That means... That's it for you. What's up, you want to go down there? Uh, sometime before 7, just going to make a lot through the parking lot for the first. Anyway, you can see how deep it is and see how slow I have to go up to these houses. When, it, when we've only got a foot or less, we can usually flip through our routes pretty fast. Uh, when we've got this much snow, um, it, it, it just takes a lot longer visibility for. Um, got to go slow. Got to take it easy on these machines so we don't have any breakdowns. Uh, people want to get out by a certain time, and we understand that. But uh, you know, we can only go we can only go so fast to get through our routes. So right now, I'm trying to get through my route and get all of the permanent residents, people who live here full time, and people who are up at their vacation home. If I see that they're here, we definitely hit them on the first pass, and then we. Uh, go around again and get uh, access to all the other uh, houses once we've got everybody who is here out. Anyway, check back in a little while. So let's see, it's about 9 o'clock in the morning, about six hours into our shift. Uh, unfortunately, I am waiting waiting right now for our mechanic to come and cut rebar out of my box. I uh, was plowing a condo and uh, it was there was a snow stake and rebar buried by the snow and didn't know it was there and hit it and it got wrapped around the uh, auger in the box. So now I am waiting for him to get over here which he's currently working on other tractors so uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer and I can get going again but this is part of uh, the regular plow shift 
I don't hit too much rebar, but uh, it happens. All right, uh, that's where we're at. Still got a long ways to go. <laughs> well, so here we are. Hey, man, have you been on the Innisbrook yet? 11 and a half hours later. And as you can tell, not that much has changed other than the snow is getting deeper and deeper. We're close to four feet now, three and a half, four feet. Um, still so that driveway is still Turn down my radio. Still have driveways to go. Several of them. And we're approaching the 12th hour. I would say I got at least three more hours to go. Anyway, hasn't changed much all day long. Full blizzard. All right, so here we are on day three of this storm cycle. Third day plowing in a row, starting at 3 a.m. or before. Um, storms have pretty much passed. Now uh, it's it's still snowing a little bit, but barely. We've all, we only got basically a couple inches overnight but uh, we're out trying to get access to all the driveways um, and make them a little wider make them uh, a little better plus the town has gone through and left some pretty big berms on all these streets are finally getting through to the streets but this is like I said this is day three uh, the last two days have been 16 and 17 hour days of plowing, going home, getting to bed, getting up and doing it all again. Um, I'll show you what we're up against when we get out here um, today. Alright, so I'm going to give you an example of what we're up against out here. Um, as you can see, it's still snowing. There's the ride. There's the berm. There's the driveway. See the garage behind there? The berm, you can see how tall it is. That looks like it's about seven and a half feet tall. Uh, taller than the machine. We gotta take that down and get access so these people can get out. All right, I'm gonna jump back in and get to work. trying to chop down this berm. As you can see, we gotta go pretty darn slow into that. Start up high. Gentle, don't want to break the machine. 